right, here we go. TOL Season 8, and it's bowl time. That's right, and what could be a very defensive-minded matchup, we have the Nine Realms. Michael Jenkinson's Nine Realms taking on Joseph Mitchell's Chicago Drunkards in the AutoZone Beefo Brady Pornhub.com Bowl. Or the Nuke Clam Chowder Bowl. It's one of the two. Drunkards are going to start off. Poirier on the return doesn't get too far. i got to turn the volume down on this. I must be going deaf. There we go. All right. Pitch out to, to Thomas. Gain of five. Um, mm, Drunkards have the plus two bonus to the free safety. And the Realms have the plus two bonus to the right outside linebacker. So both of those players anchoring these defensive teams. Murray to Ackroyd. It's going to be good for a first down or more. Big gain. Drags him to the 29. Drunkards are looking to strike first here. Let's see if Cole Corrett has anything to say about that. Tiffany Mitchell, the POA herself, in the run. There's been rumors about a uh, potential uh, trade possibility once her contract uh, is set to expire. Oh, <laughs> interception in the end zone. Drunkards turn over, Realms take over. Uh, those, again, are just rumors, but uh, Tiffany Mitchell may be seeing the trading block in the future. Who knows? It could happen. Marcone Jank, Marcone Janks drops back. Excuse me, I don't mean to butcher that name. It's been a while since I had to call a Realms game. It was incomplete. He ran second down. Janks has all day at line, doing him some favors. Diving grab by Mulk, and that's going to be good for a first down. A huge gain for the Realms. Maybe they can succeed where the Drunkards failed and not throw an interception in the end zone. That's going to be a sack and a fumble, and the Drunkards are going to pick it up. Here's Chris Brisson. To the 30, they're going to catch him? They are, bringing him down at the 19. And just like that, the Drunkards take over back-to-back. -back. Not back-to-back, -back, but both teams exchanging turnovers. Interception in the end zone for the Drunkards, and then the fumble by the Realms recovered by Chicago. Murray hands off to Thomas, takes up the middle, he goes, touchdown, Drunkards, just like that. The excellent run by Brandon Thomas, weaving... Uh, through the linemen and past the defenders, goes in untouched. The Drunkards are up 7-0. Well, hang on, can Kevin Butthead? He does, banks it off the left upright. 7-0, Drunkards. Uh, for those of you who may not be familiar, unless things change, uh, the winner of this bowl game would go on to draft their division for next season, for Season 9. Uh, the bowl winners... Uh, all get together and, and draft the divisions for the following season. Nice run by the Realms, gain of five. Jenks drops back, looking again all day. That line just doing what they've been paid to do. He completes the Mulk again. Brought down just shy of midfield. A drunkard's front three, just no pressure whatsoever. They can't bust through. Blade pitch to Glint. He doesn't get far. He actually loses one on that play. Just under a minute left in the first quarter. Second 11. There's Jenks. Hands off to Glint. Glint breaks a tackle. He's got a first down. They finally catch up to him, but excellent run by Norm, Norm, Norman Glint? Something like that. Glint. I'll just say Glint. I'm not going to pretend to know these names exactly. Mawela with the catch. Their first reception for the day. It's enough for a first down. The Realms are at their 15. They want to tie it. They want to tie it bad. Oh, Glint. Big loss. Loss of six on that play. It goes nowhere. This time Jenks and the shotgun. He's going to do it for the first quarter on this play. There's the pitch to my... Or the throw to my way left. Over his head and out the back of the end zone. Third and 16 now for the Realms. Field goal would not be the end of the world. Oof. And that's probably what they're going to have to settle for. Glint blown up again in the backfield. It's a kick by Blon. Should be good. Does he have? He's got the accuracy. Does he have the leg? He no, no. Oh, bounces it off the right upright. I thought for sure he had it lined up perfectly. Murray throws as he's hit. Completes it to Harold Ramis. One of the two Ghostbuster connections for this team. 
either Murray to Ackroyd and Murray to Ramis. It has been a successful majority of the season for the Drunkard, sometimes the only bright spot on their their offense. Four yard gain by Thomas on that run. Thomas gains two on that run. Murray out of the shotgun. So far, uh, oh, Teremus, touchdown. Drunkard's touchdown. Cole Kered just not feeling it. Uh, I don't know if he would certainly benefit from a, a condition boost, but I haven't seen it yet. He hasn't really been a factor. I haven't been able to push through and rush the quarterback at all. Drunkard's up two scores, 14-0. Butthead kicks. Glint back to return again. Takes a pass of 15 to the 20. 25 before being brought down. Very good kick return for Glint. Jenks, the handoff up the middle to Glint. Gain of 5. I think if the Realms, the realms can just take the time. Ugh. Well, uh, had that not happened, uh, the interception, they would say that if they just take their time and you know, the offensive line have been blocking for for Jenks quite well and give them the time that they could still march down and score. They're not out of this game yet, but with that turnover, the Drunkards can capitalize and go up 21-0. It's going to be a pretty tough effort to come back from that in the second half for the Realms. But crazier things have happened. Thomas goes nowhere on that run. Fourth and nine. Realms get a stop. They're going to force a field goal attempt. Maybe Kared can get through here and get in the face of the kicker. He cannot. It's up. Off the upright and in. Kevin Butthead with a successful field goal try. Drunkard, 17. Realm, nothing. There's Glint again on the return. Takes it as the two-yard line up to the 10. 15 after breaking tackle. 20. He's got room. He's got a blocker. 35. Huge kickoff return, especially considering the the starting position of Glint. He really made the most out of that attempt. Four-yard gain on that rush. 223 left in the first half. Realm should have all their timeouts yet. I don't think they've called one yet. Jenks steps up. He had the open receiver. Instead, he decided to run. Does get the first down, but maybe not the best option. But still, it moves the chains. Here's Jenks, looking. They finally get through to him, and Chris Brisson gets his first sack. He had the uh, fumble recovery for six earlier. Was it six? Maybe he didn't take it all the way. I can't remember. Jenks scrambles. I think that was the Maiwela, but it was incomplete. He was right at the sideline. Might have been out of bounds. Might have dropped it. Who knows? Jenks throws just before getting hit. He's got Moela. Oh, no. Just past the outstretched fingertips. He was trying so hard. Couldn't quite connect. Tough break for the realms. They got a punt. Felt kicks. Poirier to return. This one's going to drop down at the four-yard line. Poirier brought down at the 15. For all you math majors out there, that's a gain of 11. Completion to Ackroyd. Takes it up to the 42-yard line before being tackled. I'm digging this playoff or well, this playoff music or this bowl music. It's always nice to hear the variety instead of the uh, same old, same old that you hear in the regular season. You get that different tune. Get your toe tapping. Second two, Murray shotgun. He's got Ackroyd. Overthrows him, throws the interception, all right. Wold with the pick. Realms are going to take over. Only two seconds left. I don't think they're going to be able to capitalize, but still. It's a little momentum push, something to build on on the second half. Maybe get your, get the troops rallied, and maybe get a condition boost or two. Who knows? It's going to take us to halftime. It is still 17 nothing. Drunkards are up. The Realms, they want to change that. They don't want to get blanked see if they can answer here. Realms will start with the ball. Butthead kicks, glint to return. 
starts at the 11, up to the 20, cuts up to the 30, he's got room, making guys miss, excellent, he's looking a little faster than before, past midfield, breaks the tackle, brought down at about the 43 yard line, just like that, the realms are in drunkard's territory. Jenks looking, short throw to the covered receiver, it is picked off by Kyle Cornetta? I think it's Kyle, Cornetta for sure. Ooh, that's tough. That that drunkard's defense. It's hard to move the ball on them, and they show why. Molt Damont with the sack. Realms defense. Lost a ton on that play. Big play. Here's Murray. He's sacked. Ross Slyberg gets in on the action. Third and 30 now. Let's see if Kared can finish it off here. That would definitely push them out of field goal range. Not Kared. If he can get some help, who's got him? It is Kared. I think Kared came through and kind of stole it from the other guy. Either way, <laughs> three consecutive sacks, loss of 10 on each, fourth and 41. And this time Kared says, I'm going to block that. I'm going to do what they pay me to do. Blocks the punt. And now the realm's looking pretty good. After the interception, they're able to, to make something out of it. And they've got the ball pretty much back where they were before the interception. They are in drunkard's territory. Jenks out of the shotgun, draw play to Glenn, he's immediately wrapped up at the 50-yard line. Goes nowhere, gang tackled, loses 7. 3rd and 17. Here's Jenks. He gets busted loose, jump and grab by Mawela. To the 20, to the 10, 5, touchdown, 9 rounds. Jenks to Mawela, the JJ grab. Jenks, after being wrapped up, he was busted loose and he, he completed the pass. That's impressive. And the realms are on the board. Here's the kick. It's good. They're only down by 10. They got time. But that defense, the way they were busting through and then Kared's got a boost. They might be able to pull this off yet. Boy, not much of a turn. Brought down about the 9 or 10 yard line. The 9. Murray in the shotgun. Drops back into his own end zone. He's got time. He's looking. Throws the uh, the open act right for the completion. Again, Murray in the shotgun. This time, Cole Karad with the sack. Loss of 11. They're going to try and push him back as close as they can to the end zone. Try to get optimal. There's Mulk Demont with the sack, just like the last drive. Now third and 30. Realms trying to set themselves up with the best possible field position, but they're going to get the safety. Feppy Drake, my man. Feppy, I love that name. Feppy Drake gets the sack, gets the safety. It is now 17 to 9, and the Realms have the ball. Glint with the return, making guys miss. Oh, I don't know. Oh, I thought he had it wide open. Those two defenders are hanging back, but still, another excellent return by by Glint. Brisson, though, sacks Jenks. That's going to be a loss of eight. Minute 43 left in the third. Jenks slowly dropping back. He's got a guy short in the middle. Throws the covered Glint. Glint breaks the tackle, breaks the second tackle. Decent gain. It's now third and six. Jenks pitches to Glint. Glint's got the room. Oh, he trips over the two linemen that were wrapped up, and the Realms are going to have to settle for a field goal attempt. Here's the kick. This time it should be accurate. Off the upright and in. 17-12 after the successful King Blonde field goal. Realm are within five. They just need a touchdown, and they would take the lead. They got almost a full quarter to do so. Their defensive line can keep giving Murray fits. I think they can get it done. Oh no, after the decent return by, by John Poirier, he, uh, he's not going to get up. They drag his lifeless carcass off the field. He's going to be replaced by Seton. Here's Murray out of the shotgun. Got Ramos open. Throws it out of bounds though. He's aiming for right, but missed the mark on that. Murray able to connect with Ackroyd despite having the defender in his face. They're going to wrap, wrap him up at about the 7 yard line. 8 yard line, I apologize. First and goal from the 8. 
Murray, shotgun, called play. Just gets rid of the ball. Smart. Throws it to the guy that was laying face down, ass up on the field. But it's better than taking the sack, I guess. Murray again. Pressure. Fump sack. Fumble. The realms pick it up. Molt the mod. See? There you go. After they gave up the big pass play, the defense bared down. They didn't give up. They are able to get the ball back. Start of the fourth. Here's Jenks. He's got the guy open at the bottom. Sees Ami. Can he connect? Diving grab. He's gets up. They're not going to catch him. 10-5. Touchdown! Nine rounds. And just like that, after being down 17 to nothing, Finn Ami with the catch. Jenks with the throw. And the rounds are going to take the lead here. Pending the extra point. Should be good. They are up 19-17. We got ourselves a game. Neither defense is disappointed. Now the offenses are getting in on the fun, or at least the Realms offense is getting in on the fun. Slow ass Seaton with the return. Not nearly as good as his counterpart that was injured. Drunkards take over at their 15. Hand off to Thomas. Gains of three before being brought down. Ball to 20. Murray hands off. Called play. Tiffany Mitchell goes nowhere. Now third and seven. You've got Ackroyd. Murray connects with Ackroyd. It's going to be a huge first down to the 30, to the 20. They catch up with him. Bring him down. Drunkards are in the red zone. Murray in the shotgun. Sack. Oh, avoids the sack. Connects with Thomas. She's going to get in for a touchdown. Sorry, he. Brandon Thomas, that's not Tiffany Mitchell, that's not the POA, how could I confuse the two? I apologize. And the Drunkards take the lead back. Kick is off the upright, it's good. 24-19 Drunkards, still a lot of time. Let's see if the Realms offense can answer back. Glint takes it at the three, to the 15, to the 20, runs into two defenders and is brought down. Realms take over at their 20. Called play, of Maybe it wasn't called play. Maybe it was just a shitty run play. It's hard to tell sometimes. Either way, loss on that play. Oh, missed the mark. He had to, The receiver had to step on a defender, but the quarterback panicked. Jank steps back. Looking. He's sacked by Nate Shoemaker. Fourth and 24. Realms take a timeout. Oh my god, they're going to go for it. Here we go. He's got him. Connects first down. What a ballsy move by the Realms coach, but it pays off. Able to hit the receiver in stride, and it's enough for a first down. Two and a half left to play in the game. Jank steps up. He's sacked by himself. What an impressive feat. He must have tripped on the turf and they, they gave himself, they credited himself to sack. Jenks steps back, is looking, got a defender in his face, complete short to Glint. Glint fumbles, luckily it goes out of bounds for the realms. They're going to continue to fight on here for another play. Just past the two minute warning, Jenks, he's got all day. Throw short to Lerman Glint, but he was covered. No gain, it's now fourth and six. This could be it for the Realms. He's got time. He's got options. He's got to get rid of it. He's got Moela. Diving. Oh, man, again. Just overthrew him by a bit. And that's going to be a turnover on downs. Realms defense now has to step up. Do themselves a favor. Get a sack. Get a turnover. They've got to stop him. I think they're out of timeouts, though. Called play. Thomas brought down. Minute left, third and nine. Murray's in the in the shotgun. Can they sack him? No pressure. He's got time. He's got a short option. Throws it into coverage, incomplete. The defender able to get into the QB's face and obstruct his vision. He couldn't see where he was throwing. He missed the wide open receiver. And there's Cole Cred. He may have just saved the day and saved this bowl game for the realms. They gotta get a touchdown though. They only got 33 seconds. Pitch to Glint, that's not the play you want to see called. Breaks the tackle, but only gains six. They've got time for one, maybe two plays here. 
Jank straps back. He is wrapped up. This is gonna do it. Oh, Chris Brisson saves the day for the drunkards. Heartbreaking way to end that bowl game. Realms played a great game. The drunkards just too much at the end. Drunkards win 24-19. Both QBs thrown two picks. There were turnovers abound. Anyway, that's going to do it for me. Uh, congratulations, guys, for making it through another season, and we'll see you on Season 9.